Alright, so this question is string matching in array. So even a string array words, return all the string words that is substring of another word. So re return in any order. So let's look at this one. So you have mass and then as hero superhero. So we, we can find out uh, the as is right over here, right? And the hero is what? Right over here. So you'll return what? This two. So how do you actually need to find out, you know, what are the substring for the other string, right? So you will definitely traverse what? Two times, okay? So you'll traverse first time, traverse second time. And then if you don't want to, you know, just avoid the conflict, so you want to avoid mass, you know, check mass. So you want you don't you don't you don't want to check yourself. So it's gonna be when the index i does not equal to index j. You will definitely need to skip. But you still have to verify for the rest of the index string, right? So if the the inner for loop, inner for loop that represents you know, the wording you traverse, and then the auto and then the outer for loop is still going to be the string words, but let's focus on the substring, the substring. So if my words j dot using the index of index of words i, so if this does not does not equal to negative one, which means you find it, find the substring. So using the idea index of, and then you just add into the what list. So let's look at this list of string. Then you return the result right. For in i equal to zero, i less than four thousand. I plus plus for in j equal to zero, j less than worst of length, j plus plus. So we want to avoid the conflict. So I does not equal to j. But also what? But also the worst of index. Uh, sorry, the word of j dot index of worst of i does not equal to negative one. Then we add. So what does this mean? So again, this is what? This is the the string, the long, the long string, and this is what? The substring. So if this if the substring inside the string, which is considered a long string, then you add the substring into the list, right? And then you will basically return, sorry, break out the the loop because this is the subtrain for loop. This is the entire every single traversal for the string uh, string array, right? So you break out this guy, and then you go on the next subtrain uh, value. Then this is the solution. So let's run it. Submit. So let's look at time and space. This is space. This is time. Space is going to be all of n. You add every single word beside the first one. I mean, you probably will end up this guy. You know, a a a a a a. You know, something like this, and then you and then you have a lot of a, right? And you are not including this guy, but the rest of the rest of them, right? So it's going to be all of n for the worst case. Time. This is all of n. This is all of n. So it's going to be n square, n square. However, index of right. If, if you look at the index of, you are actually traversing the this guy with this guy. So I'm going to say the n square times you know the word you compare. So the worst case is going to be n cube, n cube. And so this is why I use a, uh, I'm using a break. So if I'm not using a break, you might have a little bit longer time. 
oh, I don't like it all the duplicate. So you ha you also have to avoid the duplicate, right? So you just add a break there. And this will be the solution. Alright, so whatever. Uh if you still have question leave a comma, I'll see you later. Bye.